And now, suspense. Your host is Autolite, and this is Rex Marshall speaking for the Autolite family. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to salute the leading truck manufacturers who are members of the Autolite family. You know, this family includes many great manufacturers of trucks, as well as cars, airplanes, and boats. Leading manufacturers who use Autolite products as original equipment. Well, then, we number in our Autolite family the 96,000 Autolite distributors and dealers in the United States and thousands more in Canada and around the world. And then, of course, there are the nearly 30,000 men and women who work in 28 Autolite plants in this country and other plants in many foreign countries, as well as the more than 18,000 people who have invested a portion of their savings in Autolite. Later on this evening, it's going to be our pleasure to present Mr. Walter F. Milady, president of the American Trucking Associations, who will tell us something about the importance of the trucking industry in our American life. And now, Autolite presents Suspense. Beautiful shirt. Six ball in the corner. The old master's touch. The guys trained him how to jump through hoops. Seven ball in the corner. There goes my fiddly. Here you are, Eddie. Johnny, how do you do it? Any more takers? <laughs> you, you're a parasite. Johnny does all the sweating, and you ride along making collections. Any more takers? Oh, I'll lay off. Hey, pull in the corner. Wait a minute, sweetie. Get lost, Sally. The road. I'll rest a second. I brought you a beer. I said get lost. Hey, pull in the corner. What's the idea? I just wanted to bring you some. Yeah, beer. they want. <laughs> Hey, that's no way to treat your girl, Johnny. Is any Push business of yours, Bonnie? The way I only said. Answer my question. Oh, Is any on. business... Shut up! Johnny. Business of mine, Johnny. Bring me the knife, Johnny. Come on, bring it to me. Close it up. Bring it to me. Put it in my hand. Come on. Thank you. Now, I won't ask what happened, because I'm sure it was of no importance. It's all glass of That'll do. Egg white pneumonia, that's what my old lady always used for beer stains. Better take care of it. I will. I mean right now. Uh. All right, boys, game's over. Got a job for you. Anybody get any previous appointment? Oh. Does it matter? Not to me. Okay, you'll find out if you get the contract. Anybody want to cut? Yeah. Cutting yourself in or out? It all depends. There's a special nag running tomorrow. I'm sort of figuring on being there. Maybe you will. Anybody else? All right, deal them. Ace is high. One round face up. High man gets the contract. All right, here we go. You're under. You're under two. And you're under. King of clubs. There goes the race. Not yet. Ace of diamonds. 
Hi, Alier. Here I come. Come on, Johnny. We'll talk inside. Come on, Bonnie. I'll shoot you game of pool. Spot your time for 50 bucks. Take your 15, you're out. You just talked yourself into a game. You're a lucky boy, Johnny. Yeah, that's what they tell me. Sure. You got a cute little blonde all your own. Three killings, not a scratch on you. Oh, Bruce. I was in this line of work before I met you. And the best in your line, too. You know, Johnny, I always admired you a lot from a distance. That a fact. Fact. Barney Moyer taught you well. Good man's hard to find, huh? You're a good man, Johnny. Real good. Too good, maybe. What do you mean by that? Nothing, nothing. Aren't you ever afraid of Barney Moyer's long arm? He's been deported. Why should I be scared of him? Well, somebody fingered him for the immigration boys. Not me, pal. Why'd you leave him, Johnny? Well, I was fed up with being a slob. I wanted to be my own boss. Johnny, you're working for me now. That's right, Brucey. I'm your number one boy. You wouldn't do that to me, would you, when you get tired of it here? What is this, one of them quiz programs? You got a job for me, Rich? Yeah, sure. Sure, I got a job for you, a big job. Needs a sure hand, a loyal hand. I wonder if you're the boy for it, Johnny. You picked me. Cards picked you. Okay, the cards picked me. How about it? All right, Johnny, here's the retainer. It's 10,000 in cash now. 15,000 more when you get back. When I get back, where am I going? Cuba. Havana. Okay, I go to Havana. I kill somebody, who? It's all in here, everything you need. Plane tickets, timetable, where you go, who you see. Who do I see? His name's in there. He's the one who put in the order, I'm just a contractor. Ah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Johnny. You know, uh, you like to kill too much. You can lose all your friends that way. I lose my last buck is when I lose my last friend. So long, Cullen. Don't get alarmed, senor. What am I supposed to get alarmed, Mac? Don't you knock on doors around here? I knocked when there was no answer. You I flopped in, huh? I just wanted to know if you're comfortable, senor. What are you, the manager of this trap? No. I'm the owner. My name is Diante. Diante? Oh, 
Very dearly. At your service, senor. And we are poor now? No, well, whatever that means, I guess we are. Okay, Deanti, here I am, one killer as per invoice. Exactly so. So that's what an assassin looks like. Eh? A what? Assassin. That's what you are, no? Oh, yeah. That's what I am. I want you to assassinate a man named Moyer. Barney Moyer? You know him? Yeah. He here? Unfortunately, yes. But I want him dead. You see, I have some flourishing enterprises in Cuba. But your Moyer wishes to share in them. Where do I find him? He has a house in the Plaza Batista, 1923. What? How long will it take? Four days, pal. Four days? I thought that you... I don't care what you thought! Takes four days to kill. Three days to watch him and one day to do it. <laughs> You're very systematic, senor. Oh, I earned my dough. You know where I learned that? Bonnie Moyer. I used to work for him. The first three days you watch the guy. Study him. Find out his habits. Know where he's gonna be. Timing. You gotta know when to kill, pal. I didn't know that assassination is such a delicate art, senor. Now tell me. I don't want to interfere with your usual arrangements. But what kind of an instrument do you plan to use? I'm... Quick, clean and quiet. Hard to trace. Look me up four days from now. I'll give you one of Moyer's ears for a present. Fine. Thank you, Signora. Set Gonzalez. We are waiting for you, Senor Moya. What are we shipping this time? Linen fabrics. Okay, nail it up and get it on a boat. Gonzalez, 
I'm going to drive out to Malacan Drive at 6. I don't want to be bothered until then. Yes, sir. Largo. Got a match? Largo. Your Damon? What do you want, Danny? Today's the fourth day. Have you got some ears for me? No. Then you have failed. Today ain't over yet. This guy ain't easy to get along. He's got them two goons with him every place he goes. Well, except one place. I've been telling for three days straight. Every night he goes down there to the Malacone Drive about six o'clock. Sits on a bench up looking the ocean. What does he do there? Feeds the pigeons. Huh? Feeds the pigeons. He sits there about 10 or 15 minutes. And them creeps ain't with him. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. He sits there like a cluck with a bag full of breadcrumbs. About 6 5, a cop goes by and walks up the end of the seawall. Comes back and passes Moyer about 6 12. But between 6.5 and 6.12, Moy is alone. That doesn't give you much time. All the time I need. So when? So right now. In about 20 minutes. Go get your ears. Welcome to Havana, Johnny. We'll return to our suspense story shortly. Right now, friends, it's our privilege to salute some distinguished members of our Autolite family. The leading truck manufacturers who use Autolite products as original equipment. You know, the trucking industry is vital to our country's economy. And here representing the users of trucks throughout America is Mr. Walter F. Milady, President of the American Trucking Associations. Thank you, and good evening. Yes, trucking is certainly a vital part of America's way of life. Trucks are the most versatile of all vehicles. They move everything from hairpins to houses. Trucks go where no other form of transportation can operate. Thousands and thousands of communities in America depend upon trucks alone for the transportation of their necessities, even in national disasters. Trucks are the key form of emergency transportation. And yet most of us don't think too much about the importance of trucking in our daily lives. For example, without trucks, America's famed mass production methods would be almost impossible. For trucks are one of the quickest and the most flexible means of getting parts from place to place in record time. Yes, on every highway, on every street, in every town and every city of America, trucks work day and night at a wide variety of jobs. And to do these jobs, trucks must be rugged, dependable, long-lasting and trouble-free precision engineer performers. Those of us in American Trucking Associations realize more than anyone else just how good trucks are. 
And what is more important to us is this. American manufacturers not only build the finest trucks in the world, but they equip them with the most modern safety devices. And this has been a tremendous help to the thousands of American truck drivers in achieving an enviable record as the world's best drivers with millions of accident-free miles each year. Thank you, Mr. Milady. The Autolite family expresses its appreciation to you for being with us this evening and to the leading truck manufacturers who are members of the Autolite family for the many years of our close association. <laughs> And now, the second act of Four Days to Kill with Robert Keith Jr. and Joseph Bula. Welcome to Havana, Johnny. You're looking good, Moya. The head down here agrees with me. These your boys? The best. <laughs> Teaching them all the tricks, Johnny, just like I taught you. How'd you know I was in Havana, Bonnie? You think I wouldn't? I guess I didn't figure it. Always your trouble, Johnny. Always your trouble. You never figure somebody else might be thinking right along with you all the time. I knew you'd be along tonight, Johnny. I was waiting for yeah, you. Smart, boy. We're all gonna take a little boat ride. No, I get seasick. It won't hurt you for long. A chance of a deal? Ah, uh -uh. not after that knife. Looks at these punks, you could use a good hand down here. <laughs> All right, enough talk. Down those steps to the boat. <clears throat> Ow, that's Ali, stop shooting! Not here. If he doesn't drown, we'll still get him. Damon, I do not understand. You come here highly recommended. You yourself boasted to me about your accomplishments. Four days, you said. Three to watch, one to kill. And you'll give me a present, Moyer's ears. Now the four days are up and you are telling me you have not killed. Now I do not understand. Well, I better try to understand. Things are different now. He's going to be looking for me. I know, Moya. But you've come here to kill, and you have failed. Not yet, I haven't. Give me a shirt. But he knows that you are here, and you can no longer do the job. I suggest that you return to the United States. Not now. so fast, Chico. I ain't pulling out on this job yet. I got a ten grand retainer. Down payment, I always deliver. Money is nothing. You can keep it. You bet your right arm I'll keep it. I'll do the job, too. It's gonna be a little tougher now, but just a little bit. All right, he knows I'm here. So what? What does that mean? It means he's gonna be after me like I'm after him. It's more than a dough now, pal. This is interesting. I know what I'm gonna do. What? The boathouse. The boathouse? Yeah. It's a little risky, but it can be done. How? Well, it takes some guys five minutes to carry the crates down to the boat and load them, see? During that time, Moyer's alone. He sits on a cracker barrel and smokes a cigar. And that's when I'll get him. What do you think of that, huh? Excellent. Excellent. Have you also made arrangements for your, um, what do you call it, getaway? Yeah. I had a look at that boat of Moyer's. Very, very nice. That's what I need to get me back to Florida. Splendid. You kill Moyer, and then his boat is waiting for you to take you back home. Yep. Splendid. Splendid. Well then, good night, senor. And I wish you good fortune tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah.
You should have gone back to the States when you had a chance. Should have known I'd stick around. I know you'd stick around. That's why I let you get away in the first place. What do you mean, you let me get away? I know you'd be back. You want a little boat ride? Okay, let's take one. How'd you know I was in Havana? The auntie worked for me. The auntie? Yeah, the auntie. You're not thinking it through, Johnny. I couldn't get back to the States to take care of you, so I had to figure some way to get you down here to me. Let's cut it in on this. At the beginning, he didn't want to. But then when he found out how you crossed me and had me deported, he figured it was just a question of time before you'd cross him, too. So you had the ante keep needling me to make sure I'd stick around so he could get me, huh? Yeah, now you're figuring it out, Johnny. Like I taught you, when you don't need a guy anymore. Okay, let's take that little boat ride we were talking about. All right, Bonnie. Take a ride. Uh, got a couple of good boys here, Bonnie. They're catching on fast. Pretty soon they're gonna know as much as I did. You know what's gonna happen then, Bonnie? Now, what? They're gonna get wised up. They're gonna get it all figured out. It's like Cullen didn't need me no more. He didn't need the ante. He ain't gonna need you anymore, Bonnie. Okay, that's enough. Come on, get up. Get him down on the boat. You're going to be taking a little boat ride too, Cullen. Maybe pretty soon. See you around, pal. Hmm. And so we come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite. Tonight, we had the privilege of saluting some of the distinguished members of the Autolite family, leading truck manufacturers who use Autolite products as original equipment. It was our pleasure to have had as our guest, Mr. Walter F. Milady, president of the American Trucking Associations, who told us something about the importance of the trucking industry in our national life. And now, this is Rex Marshall speaking for the Autolite family cordially inviting you and your family to join us again next week when Autolite brings you another story of suspense. Next week, the first of a two-part adaptation of Charles Dickens' The Mystery of Edwin Drew. This is the CBS Television Network.